Have you ever looked out your window at a bird in the snow and wondered, how does this tiny creature survive the winter? Neuroscientist Dmitry Aronoff has. In his lab at Columbia's Zuckerman Institute, researchers investigate how birds hide food during the year and remember their hiding spots later in the winter. His goal is to understand how the brain creates memories for the events that make up our lives. What happens in your brain when you experience something once and remember it for the rest of your life? Imagine you're walking down the street and suddenly a meteor explodes in the sky. You would certainly remember that moment. It's very difficult to study how our brains create memories for events like these. So my lab studies the brain of the chickadee, a bird that uses memory in a really incredible way. Unlike most birds, chickadees don't fly south for the winter. They stick around in a cold climate, and some of them live all the way up in the Arctic. Temperatures in these places can drop to 40 degrees below zero. It only has a couple of hours of a short winter day to find all the food it needs. The only way these birds survive is by hiding tremendous amounts of food in advance and remembering their hiding locations. These birds are memory geniuses. Their brains can remember thousands of secret places. Imagine yourself standing in a forest. All of a sudden, a chickadee flies over your shoulder to a tree and pulls out a sunflower seed that it hid in the bark. This bird's behavior tells you that it remembers a seed being hidden in that location. As neuroscientists, we can ask, what happens in the brain when the bird recalls this memory? To study chickadees in the lab, we built an artificial environment that mimics their natural habitat. It has lots of little holes covered with rubber flaps, and our birds love this. They bounce around and hide food under the flaps. Scientists know a lot about memory. We know what parts of the brain are involved in memory. We know what genes are involved in memory. But I want to know what a memory looks like in the brain as a pattern of electrical activity. Our team found that when a bird hides food, there is a burst of activity in a brain region called the hippocampus. Some neurons in this region become active. Later, when the bird goes back to retrieve food from the same location, those same neurons become activated again. This is really exciting because this looks exactly like what we might expect from a memory. We're one of the few groups in the world that studies these birds in the lab. And this kind of brain activity has never been recorded in birds before. To do this work, we had to build new technologies. And to analyze all the data coming out of these tools, we teamed up with computational neuroscientists at our theory center. You are a collection of your memories. Everything that you are right now, your personality, your sense of self, all of this depends on your memories. If the goal of science is to understand ourselves, we need to understand memory. We also need to understand memory if we want to treat some of the worst neurological disorders. In Alzheimer's disease, the first brain area that gets damaged is the hippocampus. That's the area we're studying in birds. Our research is laying foundations that might even help create future breakthroughs in medical technology.